Hi, this is Jeff Challen. In this screencast, I want to introduce you to a new concept that we're going to uh, discuss on MP1. And this is an important component of modern smartphone app development. So smartphone apps, in order to maintain responsiveness, so when you use an app and you interact with it, you press a button, you scroll, you try to move to a different screen on the application, you expect the application to be responsive. If the application stops you know, what it's doing and just sits there for a second or a minute, uh, you very quickly become frustrated with the application. You figure it's buggy or broken, there's something wrong. And there is something wrong. Um, because whenever an app is interacting with you, its primary responsibility is to respect your time and your attention. So you should be able to cancel things, you should be able to start up something that takes a while to complete and not have that action interfere with the interactivity that the app is trying to maintain. A well-designed app is always responsive. No matter what it's doing, no matter what you've asked it to do, um, it'll always still maintain its interactivity with the user. So it'll allow you to click things, cancel stuff, move back and forth between different parts of it, um, even if there are things that it's trying to also accomplish uh, that take a longer amount of time. So our app um, for MP1, our photo app, uh, introduces this concept of a task in Android. And tasks are Android's way of allowing an app to do slower things that the user might have asked it to do while still uh, responding to events created by the UI. The two things that our app does that are slow, um, that are both uh, set up here in our tasks.java. So you'll see, unlike MP0, where we only had a main activity.java, in MP1, we have both a main activity and a tasks.java. And the tasks.java contains the definition of different background tasks that are used by our application. And there's two of them. The one thing that our application does that's slow is, is downloading files. So um, it, you know, when you ask it, there's an um, ability in the application, and you can see this in the solution demo, to download an image file from the internet that can then be used in the app. That takes a little bit of time. The internet is slow. And so when you ask our app to do that download, it fires off this task, which allows it to continue to respond to UI events even while that download is uh, occurring. The other thing that we do that takes a little while is we actually uh, run the image process uh, transformations that you requested. So when you click on the various buttons in the app, whether it's a rotation or a flip or a shift, we actually do that image processing. And that image processing also can take a little bit of time. So we also run that in the background um, as a task to allow it to avoid interfering with the UI. This is an Android concept. So in Android, uh, the system sort of forces you to do anything that's slow in a way that doesn't interfere with the responsiveness of your application. So Android still wants your app to be able to respond to clicks, to switch to different screens, to keep scrolling, whatever it needs to do, even if it's doing these, these slower uh, tasks. So in the starter code, you can see here that these, there, all these problems are created by the fact that I'm looking at the starter code, and so there is no transform.java method yet. You get to write that. Um, but the, the, the starter code also has um, some, some missing uh, features here that you'll need to complete. Right. And again, we're tossing you in here into the deep end. Um, we're, we're forcing you to work with some unfamiliar code and some unfamiliar ideas. Um, but that's, that's part of our, our master plan here to, to make you uncomfortable, uh, but also to get you used to working with uh, code, unfamiliar code, um, code that, you know, uh, you may not understand all of it, but forcing you to look at it a little bit, make some minor changes, and fiddle around until you get things to work. So there's a little bit to do here in order to get the app to work properly. Um, but there's also you know, a much bigger, broader idea here, which is that, again, in order to remain responsive, so when you click it, when you uh, move to different screens, whatever you do with the app, it needs to be able to continue to respond to those events created by the user so that the app feels responsive and the user doesn't feel like it's crashed or that it's hung. In order to do that, we uh, move some things that the app needs to do that are slower 
into the background. Uh, that's what it's called on Android. That allows them to avoid interfering with the, the UI and to maintain UI responsiveness. The way we do this on Android is to set them up as a task. You'll see both of these extend uh, this async task class, and we'll learn a little bit more about class extension in a few weeks. Um, but essentially, this allows them uh, to be created by the UI. So let's actually just see a little bit of how that works. Uh, this is the code for mainactivity.java. You can see that unlike MP0, there's actually quite a few more button handlers to set up here. Um, but you know, let's let's look at uh, when we're going to start processing the image. So this function here gets called whenever we need to transform the image in some way. And you'll see what it does is it creates this uh, new task that we've identified, created in that other file, and it executes it. So that's that's how you execute a task. When that task completes, it has to have some way of, of passing data back to the application. You can see that if you look at the task definition. The other place where we use a task is when we use a download. And again, there's a uh, there's another task that. Uh, when we start downloading the file, right, we're going to show a dialog, and then once the user um, once the user sort of uh, finishes um, downloading, let's see here, where does this go after we're done? Um, so once the uh, user chooses a uh, something to download, let me see where the other task is. Ah, here it is. Right. So once, uh, so once the user um, chooses a URL and clicks OK, we create this new download file task, and then we begin that task executing. So again, there's a lot of unfamiliar code here. There's a bunch of new ideas in MP1. Um, we want you to focus in this MP on the core image manipulation tasks and on working with imperative programming and multidimensional arrays. But there are some cool new Android ideas that are built into this, um, this app. For people who are curious about this, want to learn more about app development, and these are things that will come in handy in future MPs and as you work on your final project later in the class. So have fun with this. Um, if you have questions, ask on the forum or approach to CA. They've all been through this before. They understand what they're doing. Um, but, but this is a way to uh, make sure that your app stays responsive, even if it's doing things that are either slow or potentially um, computationally intensive.